from the University of California at Davis. This is News Watch. For law enforcement officials, computers are essential for identifying crime scene fingerprints that exist in a national database. Could this have been done without a computer? Absolutely not, because we didn't have all ten prints. We only had a single print from a crime scene, and we didn't know what hand it came from, what finger, the sex, the race. So in order to search a print like that to 80 million prints, it would take a lifetime. The computers that they use are capable of identifying unique markings called points of minutia that even on a partial print can be matched to the database. It takes 12 to 15 to make a solid match. But with changing times and an increased emphasis on security, improved systems are being introduced. Every biometric indicator raises the same fundamental problems. And that's why we're saying use data mining so that that computer can use all of the data in that image and so it has better criteria for making the match, no match decision. There are also moves towards using other methods of identifying individuals. In 2003, California's Department of Justice opened up a division that deals with palm printing. No matter which new technique may come along, the quality of the system comes down to the quality of the human examiner. This is very satisfying work. I've been doing it for over 30 years and it is still very exciting to me to take a print from a crime scene and be able to come up and tell an agency whose print that was. Reporting from Sacramento, I'm Paul Fotenauer. For more information, please log on to broadcast.ucdavis.edu.